Attack on Titan is almost a perfectly written story built around one of the best protagonists created with Eren. Ishiyama makes us the viewer question what is going on the whole story and once we begin to grasp it, he throws us in a completely different direction. The slow demise of Eren is exhilarating and the switch from season 3 to season 4 was perfect. Following one of the best 3 span episodes of all time, Perfect Game, Hero, and Midnight Sun, and the plot twist of there being a completely different country apart from Parody, we're shown a whole new set of characters from the country of Marley and this perfectly sets up Eren's change of character. The change of setting from season 3 to 4 almost mirrors the drastic change in Eren's character, and we even see a bird fly over the war in Marley, symbolizing Eren's future sight ability. Isayama makes us believe once we see Eren's interaction with Falco that he's going undercover to sneak attack Marley, which in a way he is, but isn't doing it with parody soldiers, just by himself. And boy, when I first saw the scene and I realized who the guy with the bandages was, I was freaking out. And when Aaron transforms during Tabir's speech about eradicating parody, we have the same amount of knowledge as Mikasa, Armin, and the whole scout regiment. All we know at this point is Aaron attacked Marley without them, and we wonder why wouldn't he just ask for their help, and it has to do with his final goal, the rumble. We're also shown how human these Marley people are, and how they're just manipulated with propaganda to hate the devil as a parody. I believe Isayama here is trying to get us to sympathize with Marley since before we saw them as devils abusing the island of parody. But let's think about this from Eren's perspective for once. Since we see most of season 4 from the scouts or Marley's point of view, Eren's motives are hidden up to the very end of season 4. And if we were put in Eren's shoes and shown an infinite number of futures, what would we decide? The rumbling or let our people die? Eren chose the rumbling. One thing that I think Attack on Titan could have done better is the marketing for the final couple parts. I had to go out of my way and search for Attack on Titan news to find out anything and there's less hype around it. It was most likely because Attack on Titan had been in seasons before and would be released weekly, so they didn't have to do much marketing with that but I still feel like Attack on Titan doesn't get the love it deserves because of the marketing. That's a little bit of a tangent. Back to the overall theme. Eren's change in character was sudden, but at the same time slow. Throughout the season, we see more layers pulled back about what exactly happened to Eren, and it all started in the middle of the final episode of Season 3. When Eren had grasped the story of his hand, he came into contact with Royal Blood. And with this, he was shown all the possible futures. At this point though, Aaron didn't know what any of this meant, so we just see him wince in pain. Disclaimer, there was a two year time skip, which is clearly visible since all of the characters look older. Aaron didn't want this brought onto himself, but at the same time, he orchestrated everything that happened the way it did. Try not to think too hard about this, You'll keep going into loops. It's like what came first, the chicken or the egg type of thing. The rumbling was meant to happen. There is no alternate timelines. Aaron had went through those alternate timelines and decided that those were not the way to go. And AOE people, please don't go after me. I once used to believe that the anime would have a different ending, but I'm pretty content with the original, but that's a topic for another video. Throughout season four, if we look closely, we can see Aaron's morality is clashing with his goal. As he pummels Armin, he holds back tears. He knows he's hurting them right now, but in the end, they'll be the ones to have peace, even if it was for a short amount of time. And I would even go so far to say that Aaron knew what he was going to do right at the end of season three. And it's shown when he desperately said, if we wipe out all of our enemies on the other side of sea, will we finally be free? In a way, the story of Attack on Titan is a tragedy. A boy attempts to live in the world and stop the cycle of hatred, but he does it with hatred. And they saw that peace, but it didn't last. And that goes to show, we need to fight hate with love rather than hate or a lesser evil. It never works. We're all products of our environment, but still we have to try to shape ourselves with our own thoughts and experiences. Aaron knew what he had to do and there's no changing it since his past self had already decided his fate. But we don't live in the world of Attack on Titan. We can change our fate. We don't have a past self directing us in every way. All we have is our present selves, and we can help our future selves by doing what's right and setting the stones for our goals right now. Transition from season three to season four of Attack on Titan is beautiful. Two worlds collide, and the world with the stronger will will come out on top. But there will always be a reset and the chance to change things.